While on the road, they teamed up with their heroes and successful rock rehabbers, Aerosmith. It was weird in the middle of the song when um, Dean and Joe were doing their little guitar, you know, hero thing. You know, he just looked at me and he's like, it doesn't get any better than this, does it? And I'm like, yeah, I'm so grateful I could have, you know, be able to be doing this again. I didn't think you know, it would actually happen. Stone Temple Pilots may be in trouble once again. The band abruptly blew off a New Year's Eve concert in Anchorage, Alaska last Monday afternoon, and then canceled dates scheduled for the weekend in Hawaii. Stone Temple Pilots on Tuesday confirmed what many observers had suspected, that the band's drug-plagued singer, Scott Weiland, was under care, as they put it, at a drug rehab facility. Backstage at Monday night's American Music Awards in Los Angeles, Stone Temple Pilots frontman Scott Weiland told a radio reporter that the band is now at work lining up tour dates for this spring and summer. Some of the shows will be make-up dates for the shows STP canceled at the beginning of the month when Weiland re-entered a drug rehab program. During a concert at Purdue University last Saturday, Stone Temple Pilot singer Scott Weiland told the crowd, quote, come up here, it's an orgy. Not all that surprisingly, this sparked a mini melee that destroyed 73 seats and other property in the school's Elliott Hall of Music. Stone Temple Pilots quietly shelled out $8,500 for the damages and is presumably updating its audience participation policy. Also wandering the K-Rock Week again was singer Scott Weiland of Stone Temple Pilots, whose status with that band seems increasingly ambiguous. He's currently embarked on recording a solo album. And I'm doing it pretty much all myself. Meanwhile, the other members of Stone Temple Pilots, Dean and Robert DeLeo and Eric Kretz, have started another band called Talk Show with another singer, Dave Coots, with whom they started working last year after Wyland's drug problems disrupted Stone Temple Pilots' touring schedule. The new group is a going concern. A Talk Show album will be released in September, and the band will mount a club tour in October. In an interview with Billboard magazine, Robert DeLeo wouldn't say Stone Temple Pilots were breaking up, but he did note that, quote, I don't think we can sit around and just see what's going to happen with the fate of one person anymore. STP has become the farthest thing from being about making music. Well, according to Wyland, his current solo venture is only a prelude to a future reunion with Stone Temple Pilots for an album that will be even more super important. We'll be back to save rock and roll because the way things are looking right now, it definitely needs it. Both Scott Weiland and Talk Show have released their own albums, and Stone Temple Pilots is on hold for now, though the band has not broken up. We will keep you posted. And for more information on STP and all our remix artists, check out MTV Online, which can be found at MTV.com on the web and at keyword MTV on America Online. Rehab Week continues tomorrow night with the Red Hot Chili Peppers, a band that has lost one member to drugs and continues to fight the battle with heroin. I'm Serena Alchel, and I'll see you then.